Hey guys, it's me, Lone Wolf SAS. We're back with The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. And we're going to be continuing this out where we left off. The last episode, we got into this lab to meet the... What am I saying? Doctor? Is she a doctor? Hold up. Is she a tech person? I know it's on here. Is she just a tech person? Never mind. Ignore me. We we're going to talk to her. I guess it didn't save that last conversation, but we already know what happened in the last episode. We know who the director is. <sighs> really? I do need to talk to him again? That sucks. Pretty much, he's not the director. Woman over here is the director. Lilia. She'd be playing too many games. It's funny how you can just say no thanks. <laughs> nope. <laughs> I did not.
that flame is way down there. And we gotta bring it all the way up here. Huh? What's funny is, if it's raining, you can't do this mission. Because your torch, you gotta light it on fire and bring it all the way up there. So if it's raining, you can't do it because the flame will go out. Surprisingly, it's very realistic a little bit. You know, fire can't really last in the strict when it's raining. That's a fact. possibly light it. You can also light it an arrow. We don't have anything to light it on fire normally, so we're just going to be doing this. And bingo. Oh, what? I missed? Ooh, a stick. Never mind. No, that's a rusty sword. Wonder if we can chop this down and get a stick. Give me a stick. Nope, just wood. Well, I guess you can't shoot the arrow. I thought you could. Crap, it didn't work. And it's about to rain, isn't it? If it rains, that's gonna suck. Do we really not have anything to light anything on fire? Got that boomerang, but I really want that, though. I guess we can light the tanuki leaf on fire. And I walk right into the water like an idiot. That's how you get stuff done right there. No, I wanted to throw it. Uh. Don't worry guys, you're going to have to see all my fails because I'm not editing this. I'm a little bit behind on the uploads and I don't have time to edit it at the moment. No, I want to throw it. Oh my. Oh my, we're on fire. What happened? Is that a stick? No, that's the rusty sword. I'm about to die for this thing. I don't got a torch, man. That's what sucks. <laughs> All I got is this leaf that I can't throw. Screw it. We're burning. We're burning boomerang. Wait, can we burn a sledgehammer? Of course not. That would be stupid. I really don't want to use the boomerang. That's a cool way of doing it. What? Why was it not shooting on fire a second ago? Whatever. So I hope y'all are all doing well. And also a quick reminder. 
I am trying to help out other channels. I will be putting them in the description of other channels I would like you to go check out. They're good YouTubers. They upload <laughs> probably way more than me. I try and, you know, keep a good schedule, but sometimes I'll get like a whole three days or four days of just straight up work in general. And it would just be like, sometimes we have these little sales and let's just say those sales, oh my goodness, man, they get very, very busy. And when I come home, I just rest up, I eat something drink something and then I just sit there. I just literally just sit there. Good thing it's just cloudy, not raining. Or this would be impossible. No, I didn't want to do that. I want to try some. I wonder if I throw it, I'm able to run. Cause that would be way faster. Chuck. Yep, I can do it. And did I put out the flame like an idiot? Why do I keep doing that? The fails are racking up, guys. This boy has to watch me come back. Every time. Whatever, we'll walk it. Never mind, I changed my mind. No! It's on fire. Oh no. Almost there, guys. Oh no. Oh, he made it! Why not? This sound right there, that song right there, is copyright. That's funny. There's so much copyright in this game, but I can't get rid of the music, man. This game's awesome. Not like I care about the copyrights anyway.
This is actually a, a side mission right here to take a picture. I forgot how to do it. There we go. I didn't mean to throw out the boomerang. Camera? Pick? Now, we gotta go back to Impa. And good thing we have this shrine, but the bad news is... I would lose my horse. Pretty much, wherever you leave your horse, he'll still be there. Like, if you leave him in a destination, he will still be there. Just set it there. But you can't get them back if you go back to another stable. But some of the stables, man, are way far from your destination. And as they said, those pictures that we got that showed up, we gotta go to those areas to get his memory back. And I will be getting all of those memories. But you won't see me traveling there. You'll probably just see me getting there and watching the cutscene. We'll probably just do that all in one, like, one video. I'll just cut the crap out of it. That's video I will edit. What do you how how would you know that? She has spies. That door just slammed in my face. Now we gotta get to one of those memories. Oh, we can free the Divine Beast. We're gonna free the Divine Beast first on one of them. Because there's an ability I want. 
Or should we just get them now? Let me think, because there's a lot of climbing in some of them. Yeah, we're going to get a couple of Divine Beasts, but we're going to get the first memory. It's probably the easiest one. So let's teleport back to my horse. Sorry I have to watch these loading screens. I'm, I would edit it, but I'm a little bit behind. And I know I haven't uploaded any Zelda for like a week now, I think. It was just very busy, so I just haven't had time to sit down and play the game. And just edit it, because I just haven't had the time. But we're probably going to just use three episodes, and then I'll start editing things again. So you won't have to watch the long journey between areas. Because this game is long, man. It's big, long, and I like it, though. But, man, recording it? Ooh, that's like... It's 40 minutes of doing stuff. We're already at the 22 marker. I'm gonna at least get one of those memories. Mm -hmm. yeah, get my horse. Get Sergeant Wolfie up here. Oh. Yeah, I know how to do horse stuff. You Every time, what sucks about this, every time you get your horse from this guy, he'll give you a hint. And I'm like, I don't need no hint. Okay. I know there's a memory over here somewhere. It's like near the castle. I, I do ri like riding the horse. It just reminds me of uh, The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. When that horse first got put into the game, man. That was actually... I loved that part of the game. I was riding that horse everywhere after that. Until I actually had to get off. Like, I don't think you have to get the horse story in the game at all. Do you? Do you? No, no you don't actually, no. Yeah. I know there's one memory that's yeah. easy to get, so we're gonna go and get that one. Yeah. Don't worry, I'm not here to murder you. Yeah. Have a bunch of meat already, so he's safe for now. So let's look again. This is the Great Plateau, right? Yeah. 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 Look how far we gotta go. I could teleport to the shrines, but teleporting to the shrines, you'll leave your horse and pretty much you'll have to walk the rest of the way. Like, you know, I was talking about in the episode saying your horse will just drive yourself, like, you won't have to tell him where to go. Well, you do have to turn them to take certain courses. 
follow this path. You also use your sword on top of a horse and your shield. Wait, can you use the shield? I don't think you can. No. You can use the sword though. These guys are treasure hunters. Pretty much they look for treasure, but oh my goodness, man, they get attacked so many times. There is treasure around this map. There's a bunch of treasures in this game. They put a bunch of them. I mean, they put a bunch of them. Like, I'm not even holding the stick right now. The horse will just follow the path. So you can just kind of just let him go in case you want to go and get something to drink or eat something while he's going forward. But when he's not completely your friend, he'll just always go off the road and probably get jacked up. Oh. You see there's a shrine way off in the distance. I'm not sure if you can see it, but it's way at the top. Probably like a tiny little red dot. Trying to find an easier memory, but I don't feel like looking for it. I know it's somewhere on the left side of the map, but I know where one is. Yeah. But it's very dangerous to go near it. Because there's guardians, and those guardians, think about them, they chase you across the map. I mean, all the way across the map. Stay out of his way. They will sh one shot me since I have no health. Ha. So far, so good. We didn't run into one yet. Here 
it is. And a full moon, a red moon. Link, Link, be on your guard. Ganon's power grows. It rises to its peak under the hour of the blood moon. By its glow, the aimless spirits of monsters slain in the name of the light return to flesh. Link, please be careful. Pretty much all the enemies respawn. If I destroyed a camp and defeated all the enemies in that camp, they will now respawn. So it will keep you, like, you know, on your guard because... If they didn't do that, I'm pretty sure you can take out all the enemies in the entire world and it would be pretty easy to take them all out and they'll just they won't respawn so they had to make it a way Hero of Hyrule, chosen by the sword that seals the darkness. You have shown unflinching bravery and skill in the face of darkness and adversity, and have proven yourself worthy of the blessings of the goddess Hylia. Whether skyward bound, adrift in time, or steeped in the glowing embers of twilight, the sacred blade is forever bound to the soul of the hero. We pray for your protection, and we hope that, that the two of you will grow stronger together as one. Forged in the long distant past. The sword Gee, this is uplifting. She's making it sound like we already lost. Wasn't this your idea? You're the one who wanted to designate the appointed night with all the ceremonial pomp, grandeur, and nonsense we could muster. And if you ask me, the whole thing does seem to be overkill. I think I'm on the same page as the princess regarding this boy. Oh, give it a rest. That boy is a living reminder of her own failures. Well, at least that's how the princess sees him. I walked away from the controller for a couple of seconds and we almost got blasted. These things will hunt you all the way across the map. They're fast, that's why. 
That one got stuck in the forest a little bit. We got lucky. Look at him. He was right above the hill. He was like, you got lucky. <laughs> we're not going to ride all the way over there. So we're going to teleport. But before we continue, I'm going to continue this up in the next video because this one's getting a little bit long. So I do hope y'all enjoy it. I will see y'all in the next one, hopefully. And that's pretty much it. Should get better at these outros. I feel like they're just so bland. They're super bland. But I hope y'all enjoy it and I'll see y'all in the next